I've been involved in motorsport since I was about five years old. Um, and my passion for cars is building cars. And it's just a passion for cars, it's just a passion for being as close and being as near to the front as you could be for a budget. It's just that passion to win, the passion to drive everything. Everybody within the company has come from some sort of motorsport. Um, and you will see, when you look around the cars, you'll see that influence of motorsport. The whole concept with the Zero is to sort of get back to that original Lotus 7 concept back in the 60s from Lotus, but make it for today. Um, so there's lots of unique features. Um, ergonomically there's a lot more space inside the car um, so for larger people of today it's, there's more room uh, dynamically the chassis is a lot stiffer a lot wider uh, the footprint of the car is wider as well and the way we've done the weight distribution so it's sort of incorporating all that modern technology thinking into a classic design we never had CAD, we've always done it the old-fashioned way. Myself and Richard we uh, went to a partner of ours in Germany um, and they used Siemens and Katia um, and one of the problems we found with, um, with that software for us being new to this was that it was very complicated to work with. We couldn't associate with it, whereas it seemed very natural to associate with the SolidWorks platform. We chose SolidWorks, the simplicity and sort of the, um, it, it was more intuitive how to, how to use it. Before you'd make a part, try it on a car, now we can get the fits and the, the edges and everything so everything lines up perfectly before we've even cut the metal. Currently sort of doing the, the Mark V version of the car and getting every single part onto the SolidWorks platform with an aim to sort of have manufacturing drawings, assembly drawings, full bill of materials, down to bolt sizes, torque settings, lubrication on all the various parts, just taking it to that full OEM level. What we've found is we can use an existing component that we've drawn up adapt it. For instance the shock absorbers, a lot of the parts are very similar, it's just the length and the spring rates and the internals that change but the actual body and shafts are generic components so the time saving is massive. If you're using SolidWorks it's, it's very fast, um, it's very intuitive, um, a lot of the controls on there uh, allow you to kind of cut corners as such which in a, in a business you know the more time you can take out of designing a component you know you can you can basically create another component after after so many so it's uh, it's very beneficial to be able to take time out of out of that design process you can actually put the properties of the materials in now and um, doing sort of the cut through views of the part you can see what, what areas are thicker where you can pull bits out we've got the chassis a lot stiffer because we've optimized some of the areas we're sort of aiming to take weight out all the time being smarter with design and also using the same component twice within the car so it has two functions it was a it was an original design before we had SolidWorks but SolidWorks has enabled us now to get the fit and finish the finesse in it it does give us the ability to put a drawing in front of everybody and as there's sort of four or five of us involved in the design we like to put everybody around the table put everybody's thoughts in the pot and by being able to see the product, eliminate a lot of niggles out of the way. We're going to use more of the rendered products in the future for, for marketing, especially the machine stuff, um, the billet aluminium stuff, the, the nice stuff that we create for the business. Uh, the rendered versions we'll be able to put out as a, a precursor of what there is to come. As we got more familiar with the software, you can very quickly do panels and parts that may take you know hours, days and you can pretty much get them into a model straight away straight into the CAM software on a machine within the same day you can have a part on a car and trying it. Currently we're looking at um, running through our fitting instructions again uh, for the vehicles uh, for, the, for the whole assembly of the vehicle and for individual um, aftermarket components um, being able to fit those onto the vehicle um, currently we take a lot of photos for that uh, and do illustration diagrams and scripted, you know, uh, worded instructions. Um, but we're currently looking into SolidWorks Composer so that we can use the actual SolidWorks data. Um, use that to then illustrate directly what the, uh, what the end user needs to do. Um, whether it be 2D drawings or 3D um, illustrations. And the support from CAD Tech has been, been spot on really, especially the, um, 
the reviews when the new launch comes out the software going to the seminars and everything and finding new features and you know it's always been put in front of you what it can do and it opens your eyes the the technical support side through the online portal and everything has been absolutely superb um, you come up against a problem you know within 10-15 minutes on the phone someone's there telling you how to do it a solution's back to you CAD tech have been great um, you know if, if you've got an issue give them a call you know, it's, it's really easy to get on with the guys you know you can, you can get the answer you need straight away which means you, you're not spending time waiting around for the you know for a solution and get on with what you're doing uh, and that's that's key having had it now for a couple of years it's going to be a key part of the company and it, well it already is a key part of the company and as we grow with the new products and everything it's going to be the foundation of of the company going forward